What's going on everybody? Tech King Mike. Welcome back to another video. So first and foremost, before we get knee deep into the nitty gritty of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to all the members that are currently active on the channel. Yes, channel memberships are active. They are available on the channel. Consider becoming a member of the channel today for exclusive behind the scenes content, members only live streams, and you get access to all videos up to 48 hours before everybody else does. So make sure you consider becoming a member today. It means a lot to me. Continue to support the channel. Thank you all very much. So let's go ahead and get into this video today. Cue the intro. So, like I said, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Mike, AKA Tech King Mike. And in this video, I am so excited to finally introduce you all to my desk setup. So, you guys know, I've been doing YouTube for a couple years now, and I've been trying to find the perfect way to maximize my space around me, as well as being able to film and create content in the most productive yet flow type of way. And I think I finally got that with this latest purchase where I kind of I, I finally got rid of my IKEA countertop and my Alex drawers. Nothing wrong with that setup, but I needed something that was a little bit more productive and more versatile. I am a truck driver by day, so therefore I am sitting on my butt all day. And I wanted something that'd be a little bit more comfortable. So I decided to hold on. Hold on let me hold on real quick. Let me get my chair. <laughs> I decided to go out to autonomous.com and I ended up going and getting a standing desk and this desk is the autonomous smart desk 2 and this desk is probably I, I mean this is probably the coolest piece of tech that I have bought in a long time but I love this desk like I love this thing and I want to talk about everything that I've got on the desk I'm gonna talk about all the feet what I do with the desk my settings that I have for the height right now and everything and yeah we're just gonna go from there so let's go ahead and talk about the first item on the desk which is of course the camera now the camera that I'm currently using is the Canon EOS R with the 24 to 105 millimeter f 4.0 is R lens that's a lot but it is the kit lens that comes with this camera I got the camera through Canon's refurb site and I got the bundle for about 18 to 1900 dollars so it's a really nice setup I really enjoy it I'm also using the Rode video micro for my camera um, audio I don't have the dead cat as they call it on top of it because I just don't like the look of it I actually want to get a better shotgun type of mic style that is you know different than that one but i want to rock with that one because it's getting the job done for now so that's the current setup that i use to record now looking over to my monitor my monitor is the lg 32 inch 4k ultra fine ergo now this monitor is probably the best part of the desk only second to one other piece but this is the best part of the desk because this is not only a 4k 60 hertz panel that's um it's lps so there's no glare anything like that this this monitor comes with a monitor arm so you don't have to worry about buying a separate arm like you do for a lot of other monitors this thing is completely vase mount compatible but it comes with the arm already so what i have is the arm is clamped to the desk and essentially i get full range of motion i can turn the monitor if i wanted to to get a vertical view if i'm doing any kind of a TikTok video or something like that but i prefer to leave it like it is i usually just raise it up and down every now and then i will move it and have it kind of off to the side so that it's not necessarily directly in front of me but it is such a versatile monitor and for the price it was only seven hundred dollars but i got mine a hundred dollars off around black friday or shortly before black friday so it's a great monitor for the price you can't go wrong with it you can't beat it i definitely definitely enjoy this monitor and it gets really bright and the best part about it is there are two five watt speakers inside of it they're not the best sounding speakers but it keeps the desk clean from not having any kind of big speakers or any kind of you know uh, wired computer speakers on the desk it's a nice clean simple setup now the next piece on the desk that I'm a big fan of is my microphone and audio interface. So I'm using the Rodecaster Pro to do all of my live streams. I do, you know, all of the live streams that I'm a part of. I'm actually uh, thinking about turning my Thursday night stream into a podcast, which would allow me to record the audio directly to the Rodecaster and then edit it later after the stream is over with. 
this thing is amazing it is a little bit on the pricey side and it's not you know it's not something that you need unless you need it but for me i enjoy the work and the quality that i get out of this thing so it's well worth the price for me now the best part about it is you have access to four xlr microphones you also have bluetooth you have usb microphone input and you also have a nice little sound effect board four different headphone input headphone input jacks so that means that you can literally do a whole podcast setup with just this one unit and you can have four people talking if you wanted to so between my future podcast my wife has a podcast that she's working on we both can make the best out of this and connect it to it running through an xlr cable out of mic one i have the rode pod mic and the rode pod mic is a nice small mic that gives me a good nice sound when i'm speaking it gives me a great quality it's got a built-in pop filter but i want to get another one for those plosives just for a lot of the that you get out of it but i just love how clean it looks a lot of people like to go with the rode boom arm but that's another piece of the desk that i just feel like looks so much better and that is the blue compass arm now i went with the blue compass arm because the blue compass arm has the in built-in cable management so the cable the cable that is running out of the back of this back of this pod mic going straight into the roadcaster is completely flush so you can't see the cord until you see it going through the little grommet on the desk and i love that i like i like a nice tidy clean setup i'm not a fan of cables all over the place i'm not a fan of loose cables i love cable management and i'm really happy with the way that this turned out the black on black from the pod mic to the actual uh you know the actual boom arm looks really nice and i think it looks really great another setup another part of the desk setup is i have this nice felt pad that i got off of amazon i'll drop a link in the description for because i'm not sure i can't remember the name of the company but it's a really nice quality it feels really good and i know there are companies like grove made grove made hey if you're watching this video hit me up but there are companies like grove made that have like really nice quality leather ones and really nice quality felt and uh wool materials and i would love to try one of those to see if you know the price difference is worth it but i am really feeling the idea of this pad because i think it looks really nice it goes really well with the space gray logitech mx keys and the space gray logitech mx master 3 both of these are the four mac editions as they are both paired by by a bluetooth to my 16 inch macbook pro now the 16 inch macbook pro is what powers the setup the 16 inch macbook pro is the core i7 with the 16 gigs of ram 512 gigabytes of storage and i believe it's got the radeon 5500 inside of it so it is the base model 16 inch imac that you can get with the 2.7 gigahertz but it is an amazing computer i get a lot of work done with this thing it flies through 4k editing 1080p which i'm shooting in right now and it is just a really great and awesome computer it does all my work and get everything done for me that i needed to i am considering considering an M1 MacBook 13 inch because I like the smaller form factor, but I'm I'm not really sure. I kind of want to see what happens with the 16 inch model, so I'm going to hold off and wait and just see what happens. Using with this computer though, since I only have 512 gigabytes of storage, I actually have a SanDisk Extreme 2 terabyte SD uh, external SSD. Now this thing is blazing fast. I plug this thing up and instantly can edit all my videos off of it and it is amazingly fast. I just picked it up not too long ago. Got it for half off at Best Buy so it's definitely a great steal and a great pickup. So glad I took advantage of it when I had the chance because it is worth every single penny. Another part of the desk that you might notice is this headphone case along with this remote. Now, the remote powers my Godox light. So the Godox SL60W with the 24-inch uh, softbox is what I use to light my videos and also to light myself during stream. So that's what's giving me the light that you're currently seeing right now as I'm talking to you. And I love this light. I also have the New Wear C-Stand uh, attached to it because it's a nice stable and solid stand i don't move it around too much but you know i have a dog that runs through the house a lot and you know i, I just wanted to make sure i had a stand that was stable enough so that way i wouldn't have to worry about you know her bumping into something and knocking it over like those amazon softbox stands that you get y'all know what i'm talking about we've all been there the case that the head the um the case that the remote is sitting on top of is the case for my Sony XM Mark IV. So now these headphones 
are amazing. I didn't try the Mark 3s because I just wasn't really, I didn't see the height, but the Mark 4s, they came in this midnight blue, so I had to give them a shot because they match my phone and they match my watch. I had to give these a shot and see how they feel. These are absolutely amazing. The sound quality, the noise cancellation, second to none. I love these headphones. Would love to try something like the AirPod Maxes or maybe the Bose QC 700s or even the Drop Panda just to see what the difference is like because these for the price I don't think that they can be beaten but I also know that there are much better headphones probably out there. I'm not an audiophile. This is just from my experience and for what it's worth I was trying to use a pair of AirPod Pros before I picked these up. But do what you will with that. So and that's pretty much it. Now let's talk about the centerpiece of the desk. So I went with the sit stand desk because like I said earlier, I sit on my I sit on my butt all day. I'm a truck driver, that's what I do. I'm on my butt all day. I wanted a desk that I could be able to stand up and stretch out when I needed to. I'm also a full-time student. I'm currently in school at Florida State College with three classes in the IT professional program. So between four hours four between two hours minimum nightly of live streaming between three classes and between video editing, I sit at my desk a lot. And I never thought I'd be one of those people that truly sat at a desk, truly took advantage of a desk. But it became apparent to me really quickly that I needed a desk that was going to fit these needs and was going to allow me to be comfortable and be healthier. Because after, you know, driving a truck all day, the last thing I want to do when I come home is sit down. So this thing is awesome. It goes extremely high. I believe it goes all the way up to almost 52 inches and goes as low as 24.5. I've got mine set to two settings. One is for the sit setting and the others for the stand setting and it gets really high as well and I have that as a third setting on here because I use that for when I get up under it now I did purchase the cable tray to go along with it and that is where all of my cables are so that's why you see that nice clean cable management underneath it and off to the side of the desk I have one of my Alex drawers that I decided to keep as like a storage unit and I have my unfortunately ISP provided modem on top of it and I have the classic Ikea fake plant and I also have a candle that I like to light over there to kind of just give the room a nice good vibe. I also have on the desk a Amaton uh, laptop holder that is keeping the MacBook in place and I also have these nice awesome Infinity War coasters that my wife gave me for my birthday last year so that's pretty much it. This desk is the bamboo version uh, it's 59 inches in width with the light gray premium legs. Now, I went with the premium legs because they come with two motors versus the one on the standard. And they also have a little bit higher range and lower range as far as the sit stand. But it's so far such a quiet, quiet desk. And it is just... I can already tell this is going to be a game changer for me. So this is my desk setup going into 2021. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Uh, do you like it? Let me know what you like. What, what do you have for your desk setup at home? I went into the rabbit hole over the last couple of months of desk, of desk setup videos and I have not been able to look back. So let me know what you guys think. Would you like to see a full studio tour? I might do a tour of the whole guest room slash studio here as I'm in a two bedroom apartment. But for now, this is the command center. This is where I get all of my editing, homework and live streaming done. So, you know, if you see me chilling in the, in the stream and you see me stand up, you already know what's good. You know, <laughs> you know what's good. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to see you again in another one. Like I said, 2021 desk setup. This is Tech King Mike. I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you are subscribed. And again, consider becoming a member. A lot of members only live streams happening every other week. And, you know, it's just a nice community of like-minded people just talking tech and having a good time and chilling. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoy yourselves. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.